at the time that I was writing guidelines for the Secretary of Defense, Robert McNamara, in 1961, for the annual operational war plans of the United States, general nuclear war plans. Uh, at that point, the plan I was supplanting or modifying, I hoped, was uh, the last plan left by the Eisenhower administration, which provided for hitting every city in Russia, the Soviet Union then, and China, under any circumstances in which we were in any armed conflict with the Soviet Union alone. His plan was simply, under any of those circumstances, strike first in nuclear terms against the Soviet Union and China. The Joint Chiefs of Staff estimated in 1961 that the effects of our carrying out those plans, the Eisenhower plan, which was not a hypothetical plan for 10 years in the future or something. It was the annual operational plan for which the weapons existed and were on alert all the time. They estimated it would kill 600 million people, 100 holocausts, 325 million in the Soviet Union and China alone, another 100 million in the satellite countries, another 100 million of our allies in West Europe would be killed by the fallout from our attacks on the Soviet bloc. Without a single warhead of ours falling on West Europe, fallout from our attacks in the Soviet bloc would annihilate our NATO allies. And finally, in areas contiguous to the Soviet Union or China, for a total, as I said, of 600 million killed. Now, when I saw that estimate in the White House, I thought that was the most evil planning that had ever existed in the history of humanity.